السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ آف ہولی پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم از دا مین پارٹ آف آور ایمان اے پرسن ہو ہیز نو ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور دیٹ پرسن ہیز سم تھنگ اور ڈو سم تھنگ وچ از اگینسٹ دا ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو اٹ میکس کریک آف از ایمان سو ایمان از گوئنگ آف آف دیٹ پرسن سو دس وے ایف وی ہیو ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایون دا لو آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دیٹ از دیٹ از very very important for us must have more than us more than our children more than our family more than our business more than everything in the universe so we must have more respect and regard more love with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam very important <clears throat> this is essential part of our iman ان ہولی قرآن اللہ سد اوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الزین آملو او پیپل وید ایمان لا تقولو رائنا لا تقولو رائنا ڈانٹ سے رائنا وکول انظرنا اینڈ سے انظرنا وسمعو اینڈ لسن کیرفلی ولیل کافرین عذاب علیم اینڈ فار دا پیپل ہو آر ڈس بلیورز دیر از پین فل پنشمنٹ سو ان دس آیت ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از کلیئرلی ایکسپلینڈ اینڈ کمانڈڈ آرڈرڈ بائی اللہ دیٹ وی مسٹ ہیو دیٹ <clears throat> so this is the address of Allah to the people who are with Iman. Even at the time of Holy Prophet ﷺ, when the people, they were coming to Holy Prophet ﷺ and listening what the Holy Prophet ﷺ was saying. So this way Allah said in this ayat, وَسْمَعُوا You have to listen carefully what the Holy Prophet ﷺ is saying so that you should not have... Uh, 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 to say again, say request, you, you should not say again, uh, uh, just to revise. So this way you have to listen carefully, very important. <clears throat> and uh, some Jew people and some uh, non-Muslims who were coming there at the uh, place where Holy Prophet Wasallam was uh, addressing to people, And they were listening also and sometimes uh, when it was the habit of Muslim also and other people also that when they were uh, not understanding or they want that it should be repeated. So they were requesting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, ra'ina. But uh, ra'ina is the word which has two meaning, like double meaning. One meaning is good. like you have to please uh, re- uh, repeat it just in, in other words but uh, but uh, other wo- other meaning is disrespectful this way allah commanded to us <coughs> commanded to the people of iman at the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam time and up to the day of judgment so this command is not uh, uh, rejected uh, not uh, uh, mansukh but this is uh, valid and uh, from uh, the time of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it will be valid till the end of this life so the people who are coming they must have respect and regard of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this way when there is uh, uh, the description or explanation or uh, addressing or uh, Uh, special type of preaching of Islam and uh, and uh, someone is also uh, explaining or uh, or advising the other people with hadith of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that hadith which is uh, 
describing or explaining or uh, is uh, advising by the person must be listened carefully. <coughs> Understand this is the wording of Holy Prophet Sallallahu We must have respect and regard of that. <coughs> and and I mean, we should listen carefully, we should not say that, repeat this one. So it means the person who is saying that must be respected too much. <coughs> so this way very important. The sayings of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Hadith of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sunnah of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam must be highly respected and with, ha with high regards. That is need of us in order to protect our Iman. Because disrespectful wording or saying or anything that nullify our Iman. <clears throat> so this way very important. So, any word which is uh, like uh, having two meaning, so one meaning is good, other meaning is uh, like disrespectful, we are not allowed to say for Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. <coughs> so, this is, uh, uh, you know, advised to us completely, ordered to us by Allah, that must be careful when you want to say something about Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you must choose those words which are having positive meaning that should not have some other negative meaning like with that. So just to choose and pick the words because Prophet ﷺ is so much respectful. So you must keep the respect of Holy Prophet ﷺ very important. Allah's order to the people who are with Iman. So we must be like this. And and Holy Prophet ﷺ, love of Holy Prophet ﷺ is also supreme. More than us, more than our children, more than our uh, family, more than our uh, business and all other things which uh, for which we have love. The supreme love after Allah is the love of Holy Prophet ﷺ. So very important message that have been uh, given to us in this ayat to have a respect and regard of Holy Prophet Sallallahu This way <clears throat> when you when you want when you want to say if a person who is describing or explaining hadith of Holy Prophet Sallallahu if you want to say that person repeat you have to say with full respect to that person to repeat it. But uh, like the Holy Prophet Sallallahu time people who were <coughs> who were saying to Holy Prophet Sallallahu that please repeat this one, they were saying Ra'ina. But this this word was having double meaning. This way Allah said, don't speak this word. So this word was completely banned. <clears throat> so completely rejected. And throughout the universe up to the end time, so don't use any word in for prophet, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which have double meaning and the double meaning mean other meaning have a no good so disrespectful so be careful <coughs> so this way allah said you can use the word unzurna please so repeat for repeat this word you can use unzurna is respectable for word so allah gave us you know this is allah's special blessings Allah's special, uh, you know, <coughs> special uh, education for us, that is, you can, you don't use this word, but use the other word. So this way, this is like a education that we must do what Allah commanded us, what Allah ordered us, what Allah educated us, so we must have to keep in mind respect and regard of Holy Prophet ﷺ. Otherwise, while al kafirina azabun alim, and the people who have respectful word, these people must understand that they will lose their iman, nullify their iman, and will go without iman. So very important. <clears throat> this way, 
Allah's name, these are, mashallah, blessings of Allah, and those who have been, uh, mashallah, described by Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and uh, we can get benefit for this world and the world hereafter. So today we are learning Allah's name, inshallah, al muqtadiru al muqtadiru al muqtadiru dominant, the dominant, Allah is dominant over everything in the universe. So Allah is al muqtadir al muqtadir means whose government is completely holy everywhere on everything. Everything is under complete control of Allah. So this way, what Allah wants, that is done. <coughs> so, this name in Holy Quran came in about four times. And uh, when you are sleeping, and after sleeping, if you get up, so you read mostly dua, Alhamdulillah illazi ahyana baadama amatana wa ilayhin nashur. After this dua, you must read uh, this name of Allah, Ya Muqtadiru, Ya Muqtadiru, Ya Muqtadiru. Read this one at least 25 times. It's very important. This is not difficult. If you look at the uh, palms of one hand, you can have, look, uh, uh, 12 uh, knots. Like you can read, Ya Muqtadiru, Ya Muqtadiru. So 12 this hand and 12 other hand and then one separate. That is, uh, then Ya Muqtadiru. Read 25 times every day when you get up. Inshallah, what will be the benefit? You will have no any trouble that day, no problem that day. And uh, whatever work you, or job or task you will do, there will be no obstruction in that one. And shaitan will not do any trouble, any problem to you. You will be safe from the magic and from different type of uh, troubles, problems and uh, black, uh, you know, the evil eye and some other. So you will be completely safe, mashallah. Try to read at least... Uh, 25 times after getting up, uh, when you are getting up, mashallah, then the whole day you will have no problem. All day will be spent nice way. You will stay happy. Everything will be fine. Alhamdulillah. So uh, the other thing is that if a person who has no, <coughs> who has retardation or problem or laziness, a person, you know, when start work and then uh, he do something, then stop it. Then uh, after some time, then do something, then stop it. Like a person who is not constant to do the work in a unif uniform way. So if uh, this type of person who has problem of this, so try to read uh, Allah's name, al muqtadiru al ya muqtadiru ya muqtadiru Read at least... Uh, uh, 1000 times every day <clears throat> inshallah you will get more benefit the first of all everyone when you when you go anywhere everywhere so everyone will have a respect for you and will follow you also and your advice will have more weight there and uh, mashallah and uh, and uh, you will get so much respect and regard also so, Alhamdulillah, and no enemy, no other shaitan or other attacks comes to you. You will be completely safe. And this is, and even you are, you will get to, uh, like cons consistency or uh, uniformity in your work, task, and everything will be smooth. So, mashallah. And uh, your enemies will not have capacity, capability to attack you. So, Alhamdulillah, you will be the supreme person then, and MashaAllah, Allah, with the blessings of Allah. So, try to read this one to make your life more better, so that in this world and the world hereafter, we should get the benefit that that is success. So, success is the outcome of our this life of all activities with Iman. So we request Allah to bless us success in this world and the world hereafter. Amen.